Hello friends and welcome to this video. We are with the chapter 7 that it is titled Wavelet Transform. So in this chapter that we have covered for advanced digital signal processing subject, we have understood what are exactly the origins of the wavelets. We have compared it to the other reality transforms also. The mathematical foundation we have studied for the Haar wavelet and for proper understanding we have first of all focus the study of Fourier series from geometrical point of view and a revision of the continuous type of the Fourier transform and a new version of the Fourier that it was the windowed Fourier transform also known as short time Fourier transform. Now knowing the importance of orthogonality, orthonormality for the Haar scaling function and the Haar wavelet function, we have seen how a signal can be represented by the functional basis that we can define. So as in the wavelet family, we can have various kinds of the shapes generated by the use of the functional basis here and further the representation of the signal at hand. It depends on the application. We can have the efficient representation here. So in the previous topic from the same chapter where we dealt about a different type of the scaling function, it was the triangular scaling function. It was something different than the conventional that we have used for the Haar scaling function and Haar wavelet function defined into the unit interval. Now it's time to just introduce a more practical which is actually the most popular in the wavelet theory that it is the work of Ingrid Dobechis, hence the topic title here Dobechis wavelets. So let us see what are the details. So let us begin with the topic. <music> So here we start with our topic, the topic titled Dobechis wavelet here. So as in the fourth topic from the same chapter where the topic was titled wavelet from Morlet to Dobechis via Mallard, the development of the today's wavelet system we have seen. So the major contributions from the corresponding researchers thereupon we have seen. So it was a brief summary wavelet from Morlet to Dobechis via Mallard. Thereupon I have already introduced the work of the Dobechis. The work of the Dobechis is really very very important as far as the wavelet theory is there because this scientist has given the solid foundation of the wavelet theory. She has developed many wavelet system with a compact support that is referring to the finite number of the coefficients into the refinement relation that we have understood here. So just a recap what we have seen thereupon. So this is the scientist Ingrid Dobechis. He is a Belgian physicist and a mathematician based known for work in the wavelets, especially the application area was image compression here. Next to that, the information is that she has discovered a whole new set of wavelets. In this video, I will visualize you the shape of the wavelet uh, function as well as the scaling function as per the Dobich's work. And the new class of the wavelet, the benefit is that these were not only orthogonal, but they could be implemented using the simple digital filtering ideas. In fact, using the short digital filters and the new wavelets were almost as simple to program so this is a simplicity for implementation and use as har wavelet that we have studied but they were smooth without the germs of har wavelets in the har wavelets we have germs right from 0 to plus 1 plus 1 to minus 1 so quite more beneficial to use the dobechis wavelet for the practical applications here so now the most popular set of the wavelet that Dobechis has developed is known by the DOB4 type wavelet system here. See, the peculiarity of this particular wavelet system developed by Dobechis is that there it is no explicit function developed. So, direct drawing of the Dobechis is not first of all possible. Instead, we have been provided certain coefficients though generally we refer to as h of k's and these coefficients are a part of the refinement relation that will 
connect to the Dobage's scaling function that generally we denote phi of t and the corresponding translated versions of phi of twice t here. So let us see what are the important coefficients. There are four important coefficients. That is why the set of wavelet system is known by the dog four system and it is of course a normalized version here. So we have the first coefficient h of zero expressed as one upon four under root two. This ratio is multiplied to addition of one to square root of three. The next coefficient is h of one, which is equal to one upon 4 times square root 2 the ratio multiplied to 3 added by square root 3 here next to that we have h of 2 that is equal to 1 upon 4 under root 2 multiplied to the difference where we have 1 minus square root 3 and at last we have h of 3 here as a coefficient 1 upon 4 times square root of 2 this ratio is multiplied to 3 minus square root 3 here so by the use of these particular wavelet coefficients given by the Dovages, here we have the expression for the scaling function here. So it is denoted by phi of t and it is obtained by h of 0 multiplied to square root 2 times phi of twice t further added by h of 1 multiplied to square root 2 of phi of 2t minus 1 further added to h of 2 multiplied to square root 2 multiplied by phi of 2t minus 2 finally added to the last term where we make the use of the last coefficient h of 3 multiplied to square root 2 further multiplied to phi of 2t minus 3 here. So here phi of t the scaling function is expressed in terms of phi of 2t and the corresponding translates. So now as we have initially not given the direct shape of the function here instead we have been provided the four coefficients and by the use of the four coefficients along with the translates of phi of 2t here the phi of t is expressed here. So the question arises how shall we draw the corresponding shape or imagine the corresponding shape. So we can imagine a certain uniform type of phi of t here initially and it is assumed to be initially a square pulse type let us say of unit height and that can span the considered support of phi of t support we have already discussed in the previous video it is the length for which we have defined the scaling function here or assumed for that so afterwards we are making the use of this refinement relation for building the scaling function in iterative fashion here. So first of all as we see the refinement relation on the RHS we have in the coefficients along with the translated versions of phi of 2t here. So by block schematic I will show you what exactly this is mean by. So here we have the first term on the RHS of the equation as you see h of 0 multiplied to square root 2 times phi of 2t. The second term h of 1 into square root 2 times phi of 2t minus 1 next to that h of 2 into square root 2 times phi of 2t minus 2 and at last h of 3 into square root 2 times phi of 2t minus 3. So here you see a kind of overlapping between these four terms as well and the addition of these four those start at different different values as shown 0, 0 0.5. 1.0 1.5 we get the total phi of t here and as we have reduction into the time interval for the phi of t here we have phi of 2t so the question that it was how the Dobage's four type of the wavelet system will be having the scaling function and then the further wavelet function here so here i will just introduce how with the help of certain weights for the wavelet function for the same translated versions of phi of 2t the associated Dobage's wavelet function can be generated which is denoted by psi of t that is given as g of 0 the wavelet coefficient multiplied to square root 2 times phi of 2t 
added by g of 1 into square root 2 times phi of 2t minus 1 further added to g of 2 into square root 2 times phi of 2t minus 2 and at last we have addition by g of 3 multiplied to square root 2 times phi of 2t minus 3 here. So here for the associated scaling function and the wavelet function we have the visualization here. So this is the Dovich's Portep wavelet. So the shape as you see as we have discussed that the shape initially cannot be directly drawn here with the given coefficients as defined h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, h of 3. We have to make the use of the refinement relation as shown on the previous slide and we have to build this particular shape of the scaling function into the iterative fashion. Similar will be the case to make the use of refinement relation for the wavelet function to be also built up here. So in the blue color here you see the Dobh is scaling function for four tap system whereas in the red color there it is Dobh is wavelet function for the four tap wavelet system here. Now as you look at the shape of this particular scaling function and then that of the wavelet function you will come to see that this is quite similar to that of the fern. So if you have a brief touch to the biology here so this is the fern a plant here the leaves you see here the pattern of this particular shape is very similar to that of the Dobich's wavelet that has been developed here that has given a major contribution to the wavelet theory here. So this can be also the point to just remember how the Dobich's wavelets look like. So here we are finished with understanding of most of the part of the wavelet theory here. Now by the next lecture we shall be addressing few of the application domains of the wavelet theory here. So by the next lecture we shall be addressing multi-resolution analysis as one of the topic and finally after addressing applications of the wavelet transform we will conclude this particular chapter. Thank you.